Hi, my name's Danny Fleming of the MA Properties Online team, and I'm the um, listing agent of Two Great Rock Road. So welcome to our virtual open house. You can see Marcus Collins of um, our team also um, on the recording. He Hi, everybody. <laughs> and he actually works as a buyer's agent um, in our team. And um, he's, uh, he's going to be showing us around the open house, um, around the home. So let me just give you a summary of what the home is all about um, before Marcus starts. And I'll be chipping in um, with comments during this. And if you've got any questions, then please don't hesitate to ask in the chat and we'll get those, uh, those uh, taken care of. But the home has got six bedrooms and two full bathrooms. Um, it has two floors. Um, and it has a separate garage where the furnace and all of those sorts of things are. And it has a new roof. 2019 has a new roof. And um, look, oh, and it's priced. The price is a million and seventy five thousand. And if you want to check out a 3D tour afterwards, then um, you're welcome to check out its website at twogreatrock.com. So with that, um, I am going to get Marcus to show us the home and enjoy. All right. Thanks, Danny. Good morning, everybody. So here we are at Two Great Rock Road in Lexington. Um, the sun is shining. I had anticipations of doing this in the snow, but it looks like the snow has, uh, has kind of ceased. So here we are uh, out in the, in the glorious sunshine, a little bit cold. So let me get, me turn the camera around. I can give you a, a shot of the outside and then we'll go into the home and we'll take a look at all the features inside this home. So uh, here's the outside. It's a corner lot. I'll kind of pan around here. I'll try and go as slow as I can. A corner lot uh, on Great Rock Road. As you can see, there's a beautiful garden at the front kind of dipping down to the road. It's got a high position, high up. That's the garage you see there. You can see some of the, uh, the finish there. Uh, as it's quite cold today. But we'll go take a look at that at the end of the open house. And uh, so here's the uh, the home and I'll come around here. That's the entrance, we're gonna go in there. You can see our sign that says this is virtual open house. I'll go out the back as well when we're all done as well to give you a sense of the back yard. But there's a uh, great rock road down there. So there's the pathway leading up to it. So that's the front of the house. So let's go take a look inside this home. All right. So into a kind of mudroom area at the front. We're going to lock the door because people actually turn up for these open houses. No surprise, really. But uh, today we're doing a virtual one. Um, so here we are in the house, the kind of mudroom area. As you walk into the home, um, you can see here. And then tiled, it's got some, some tiles. And then into a kind of foyer. Um, ahead of us is the, is the living room. First off, though, I think I'm going to go and go through the uh, butler's pantry. Um, and then that will take you to the kitchen and we'll come, uh, come around to the, to the living room another way. So here we have uh, the kind of butler's pantry area. Get a sense of this. There we go. And I'm going to try and open as many closets and things as I can. Um, that's kind of a uh, broom closet, as you can see. Got all kinds of stuff in there. That's me a broom closet. Um, and then we come into just the start of the kitchen. Um, tiled again, so everywhere we've come through so far has been tiled. Um, there's a small sunroom here, um, again, tile on the floor, as you can see, um, and that, that's where we were uh, initially, just outside there where the, uh, where the table is. So here's the sunroom. They use it as kind of an exercise area as well, as you can see, um, but that's the, uh, the, the, the other way into the house, if you like. They say there's the outside, where we just gave the introduction to, um, and this also gives you access to the stairs, which will take you down to the garage and where all the utilities are, but more on that. And also later. to the deck too, Marcus, oh, and also to yep. the deck, which yep. you can get to from the dining room as well. I think I'm gonna go through the dining room to get to that one. Perfect. So let's kind of have a look at the kitchen first of all. Um, modern kitchen, modern design, stainless steel, granite, um, with that kind of modern look to the, uh, to the kitchen. Let me kind of pan around here, as you can see. Um, electric cooktop. Uh, there we go. There and is Danny gas. Like... There, there is gas in the house, so that uh, electric cooktop was by choice. There we go. So Danny always likes me to show you the 
I'll give you a sense of the, the kind of cabinets we've got in the in the area to give you a sense of the finishes on those. Um, there we go, just to give you a sense of them. Um, Danny always likes me to show the uh, the granite, and I'll do that here because it's just slightly better light uh, without getting the window in it and the light, so you can get a sense of what that granite looks like um, in the in the kitchen. Um, and I'll take another look at it. That's kind of a uh, an area for glasses, but give you a kind of wider perspective on it. A kind of, would you call this a galley kitchen, Danny? Yeah, kind of it's long... it's a large galley kitchen. Yes. Right. Galley, you always think of as quite small. This one, as you can yeah. see, is quite large, um, but it's got that kind of galley shape to it. And then um, as we come into the dining room area, there's a, uh, a seating area there, um, a kind of informal dining area, just, you know, just a, a breakfast bar, if you will, will there. So that's the kind of kitchen area of, of the home. I'll go outside afterwards, actually, maybe go down to the, the garage and go show you the deck on the outside on the way back. So on the, on the way out, I should say. Um, so there we are, the dining room. Um, uh, you can see we've got in-wall air conditioning uh, systems. So uh, that's how uh, the house is cooled. The house is heated by uh, baseboard heating. You can see that there behind the, uh, the chairs in this, uh, this dining area. And that runs actually the whole length. I'll kind of give you a sneak peek of the, uh, of the living room here. Um, that gives you kind of just how it's, it's heated by cooling um, by uh, these in-wall uh, air conditioning units. And heating via the baseboard. So there's our dining room. It's like access out to the deck out there as well, which is kind of really convenient for the kitchen. I can just see the grill and uh, the grill uh, being out there as well, which would be really nice. But there's our dining area. Um, hardwood floors, I should mention. So kitchen has got, um, almost everywhere I walked in previously has got tile. There's the threshold of the tile at the edge of the kitchen. And now we've got uh, hardwood floors through most of the rest of the house, actually, from what from what uh, from what I remember. And so I'll at, spit. Yeah, look at that uh, beautiful picture window looking out into the backyard. That's just stunning. Lots of natural light. There we go. And the uh, because I don't know the answer, I'll ask you, Danny. There's a shed at the back, and is that part of this property? Yes, it is. There we go. Yep. Um, so here's the uh, the living room. We have the family room above us, but it's a beautiful window. I'm giving you lots of natural light in here. We've got a wood burning fireplace over there in the corner, uh, the other side of the room. Excuse me, the other side of the room, uh, just below the uh, the mirrors there. So that's the the family room area. The, sorry, the living room area of this home. And over there, you've got a kind of desk area. Go take a closer look. A desk area here. Um, useful at this time. Not about anybody else, but uh, Danny and I are certainly spending most of our time uh, working from home. So um, ever useful to have a desk area um, today. And I think moving forward too. So I think we're going to see a lot of people um, asking that question as they come into a home. So where's the office? Where am I going to put my desk if I'm going to be working from home, you know, perhaps for the year or maybe even two, three, four days a week. So that's, I think, going to be a feature that many people are going to ask for um, in homes moving forward. So there's the family living room. Say, so, uh, wood burning fireplace there um, um, in this room. So as well as that, and then to give you your bearings, that's the, the um, door that we initially came into the house through. So that's kind of leading in. You can see the tile and then the threshold. And the large uh, from the closet. Room. The large cloak closet off to, yeah. All right, I can do that. Because we, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. So that's definitely your uh, your mudroom area, and you've got some hanging space behind it. I did mention on the way out, as you can see where the umbrellas are and so on. So there's lots of hanging space there, as well as uh, a large coat closet uh, in that in that mudroom area. Okay. So now let's move for, forward. We have three bedrooms and one bathroom on this level. Let's kind of go one, two, three bedroom, and then we'll go into, so I should stop here. There's a large closet going into the large bedroom here. Um, closet with lots and lots of uh, shelf space in there. So it's a huge, it's a three panel, um, actual three panel um, closet. You can see it there with hanging space on one side and sh uh, shelves on the other. So a large closet that, that leads us into the largest bedroom on this floor. Um, here it is here, um, 
there's a closet behind me. I'll show you that in a moment. Um, actually, when I just go over here, you can see there are those two closets. Let me close the door so you can see what you've got. I get Statue of Liberty and oh, that's kind of a modern yeah, looking tower. Eiffel Tower there. Yeah. Modern looking Eiffel Tower there anyway. So we've got two closets there. I'll open those up in a moment. But just to give you a kind of sense of the room, I'll go into the corner here. There you go. Just give you that kind of give you a sense of the size of the room. The big bedroom, this one. Uh, windows, picture windows on this side, as you can see, um, showing the, uh, the, the side yard and then a window over the bed there. Again, here's that baseboard heating, which is how this house is heated. And as you can see over in the corner there, there's the air conditioning unit over there. So, um, so big closet outside, but also got you know these closets inside. It kind of goes way, way back, as you can see, um, under the uh, stairs. The, the reason it's uh, a diagonal there is, it's, it's, is uh, the stairs is actually there as well. So that's kind of why it's that shape. So you've got a large closet on this side, and lo and behold, you know, a large closet on this side too. So two good-sized closets for this bedroom. Um, so that's the largest bedroom on this floor. There we go. So let's head out from bedroom number one and head to bedroom number two. So back down the corridor with our closets on the right-hand side. Here's bedroom number two. This is kind of... Uh, this one is our, uh, our ocean bedroom, I guess we would call it, because we've got dolphins and whales. So a lot, again, large closet, big, big window. Um, I'll go a little closer, just so you don't you can kind of see. There's the, uh, the side yard uh, um, from this bedroom. So big picture window, large closet again, got good sized closets, uh, this house. Um, so that's bedroom number two, the one that's got the, uh, the dolphins and the whales and that on it, which looks really nice. Pretty cool, actually. Benny matches, looks really cool. So, bedroom number two um, on this uh, first floor. And then that's the bathroom, but we'll go in the other bedroom first. Um, so, this is bedroom number three. Again, there's our closet, a good sized closet in this, uh, in this bedroom too. Um, but again, I mean, all of these bedrooms have got. I think all of them actually have got a, a you know large windows. This one again is on the side of the house. The second bedroom was on the it's on the it's on the corner of the house. The second bedroom was on the side of the house, and you can see those large windows. This one um, facing uh, the front, but it's a long, long way off the road. So don't be concerned about that. Um, but that's bedroom number three on this level. And as you can tell, Marcus, every time you open a closet, there's not much in the closets. The sellers have virtually moved out. I mean, you know, they, they have a second home that they've moved to. So it's very, very easy to show. Um, and it also would be a fairly quick closing if people wanted a quick closing. Okay. So that's uh, three bedrooms on this, on this level. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. This is where we give the game away and usually show, I'll try and not show ourselves, oops, excuse me, uh, show myself in the mirror here anyway. Let me see if I can do this without giving the game away. Um, can't usually do it, but uh, <laughs> there you go. As you can see, you, you just figure out all our secrets if you do that. So there's the um, vanity, um, and then it kind of pans around here. We've got a bath with a shower. Yeah, I think I got away with that, didn't I? Um, bath and a shower there that you can see. Um, so that's, this is the, uh, the bathroom for those three bedrooms that I just showed you. Um, and it's in beautiful condition. Tile again, like this. So on, the rest of the house is, uh, we've, all the rooms we've been in have, uh, have had hardwood floors on. Here the bathroom is tile. So we're all hardwood floors, um, with the exception of the mudroom, the kitchen area, and then the, the bathroom on the and the front, the, rest. the front foyer area. Yeah, yeah the foyer. Mm -hmm. So mudroom came into the foyer and that's, that's all tiled. Um, the rest is uh, hardwood floors. So there we go. So just to give you a bearings again, as you walk into this kind of bedroom section of the house, there's the large bedroom uh, there. I pan around right in front of us is that side bedroom. Again, large picture, picture window, um, even though it's uh, on the side of the house. And then here, is third bedroom and there's the bathroom. And for there's this level. Another, another closet and right there. Yeah. Let alone yet another closet. Quite a narrow one, that one, but you know, that's really for toiletries and things that we'd use 
the bathroom supplies would easily fit within that one. There's lots that's of storage in this home. So that's this floor. So we say we came into the mudroom foyer, then we had a kind of um, uh, butler's pantry, if you will, as you went through, through to the kitchen, dining room, and then the family room. Um, and so I can kind of give you your bearings again. Here's the family room. I'm in the nope. foyer Li now. Living room. Oh, sorry. Living room, sorry. <laughs> He always confuses this. I know, yeah, <laughs> but left and right. I don't know the difference between a family room and a living room. I don't know left and right. So if I say <laughs> on the right and you go, no, Mark, it's not the right, it's the left. It's because I don't understand that one either. Um, so there is the, fact, the living room, sorry. Um, and then now we have the stairs running up to the second floor. So let's And the family room. And the and family, the family room. room. Now I get it. Now I start calling it the living room, of course. Whatever, right? <laughs> anyway, so here we go, up the stairs. Um, wow, huge picture window. Let me try and, there we go. I think I've got all of those in, in that single shot. Um, you can see that large picture window, window um, for this family room. So, and there's actually windows on the other. There's uh, skylights in there as well, yeah. Except So windows. large, large picture window. Um, high up, very, very high. You can see there's the, uh, the, back, uh, the backyard. There's that um, shed that I asked Danny around. So there's our backyard large large backyard there and marcus pan around so that people can see the um the scale of the family room sure so here we go so there's picture windows um there's kind of it's been set up as an informal dining area we'll go over there in a or minute or just a games area yeah that's the size of it there we go it kind of pans all the way around so large large area i'll turn the lights on in that uh room in the corner as well actually so I can't really that. so yeah you can get a sense of the scale of this uh this room and see and i like the fact that it's up high you know you've got nothing blocking the view so it really does give it that x that really does give you that extra sense of a very spacious uh, room as well the fact that it's up so high and there are, you know you're at kind of tree level as opposed to a ground level and that certainly gives it a much more airy feel um, as you can see today with the sun, finally the sun coming out, um, that uh, there's lots and lots of natural light. I didn't even turn the lights on in this room, actually. I don't <laughs> need to, I'm sure. I can, I can turn them on, but there we go. But it didn't it make made difference no difference either. at all. No difference at all, right? No. So it's, it's beautiful light. So let's, uh, let's pan over this side and we'll kind of head over into the laundry area. Turn the light on here as well. There, there we go. Let me do that. Say so it doesn't really need it, but... So here we have a enormous is the word I think I would use um, an enormous uh, laundry area as you can see here I'll pan around um, so a large large laundry area on this level there you go and then I'll head back out and I'll take you into the other small room there is just here so we're back now into the into the family room let me scoot into this room here and this room is a bedroom. It's a, it's a nice bedroom. Yeah. We've, yeah. It's been set up as an office. Um, the sellers used it as an office, but it's easily a, a great guest bedroom. Yeah, and I think your know, uh, guest bedroom, or you know, given where we are, and given how many people are going to be working from home right now, this is the the main office with the the other desk area being down there in the living room too. So this would be a great space. And you've got, if I can kind of pan up here, as you can see up there, lots of storage space um, up there as well. So this would make, you know, in, in the time that we're, we're in at the moment, either a bedroom or perhaps, you know, perhaps even more likely a, a, an office area. Um, and, again. And there also is, I should mention, there's also um, in the butler's pantry, as you walk through, just after you came through the front door, there is also a desk area there as well. Yeah, just on the uh, on the left hand side there. Yes. Yeah. All right. So there is bedroom slash office. And there's the closet for that bedroom there as well. Just as you uh, Sorry, pan around, there it is. Yeah. There we go. I'll pull the curtain back. We don't pull the curtain back. You must be behind the curtain. There we go. It's like the Wizard of Oz. Um, so let's uh, actually let's head over this way while we're here. Um, and now we're in the master bedroom. Okay, so let me kind of give you a, 
a pan of this, first of all, to give you a sense of the scale of it. There you go. So that's the master bedroom um, up on the second floor here. Large master bedroom, sloping ceiling. Um, wow, it's windy out there today. And then the walk-in closet. Oh, I gave the game away then. There I am. Hello, everybody. Um, there's the, uh, the walk-in closet, large walk-in closet. Um, shelving on one side, you can see. And then on this side, a lot of hanging space going actually way up where you can put the summer clothes or the winter clothes or however that works. So there's the walk-in closet. We've also got a kind of, what would you call it, Danny? A loft a closet area. area. Yeah, a loft area up there. I can kind of do that because I've got it on an extension pole, as you can see. So there's a, um, a set of, excuse me. Uh, I can imagine uh, a beanbag up there and books up there and just uh, going and hanging out and having time out time out space for the parents <laughs> there you go which let's face it that would be quite useful today wouldn't it at least yeah. from what i can gather from what i can gather there are a large number of parents who would like a space which is a kid no kid zone yeah. so that would be the no kid zone i think up there no kids allowed zone i think um there we go so that's the master bedroom and then we'll head now into the master bathroom i guess Actually, the, the bathroom, the bathroom this level. for, for Oop, hello. Okay. this floor. I can't avoid being in that shot. Um, so, um, renovated bathroom tile in here. Let me kind of pan down and show you the tile. There we go. Um, so, double vanities up here. A modern look, a toilet on this side, as you can see. And then over here, it's really nice standing next to this towel rail because it's on at the moment and it's quite warm. And as you come in from outside when it's freezing cold, so it's really quite nice. So we have a, a bath on this side, um, as you can see, modern looking tiles on that. Quite like the look of that. Yeah, it's really nice, small gray tiles with those, those kind of turquoise. And then that kind of leads into on this side the shower uh, area. And as I say, a really nice warm towel. Rail. And it's, uh, it's, it's really inventive because there's no door on the shower because you've actually got a path that, you know, you've got two offset um, glass doors, uh, glass walls, if you like, and you just walk yep. in. So there's no need to open a door. Close there's the door. no need, no shower curtains, all of this sort of stuff. It's just easy. Yeah, kind of hard for me to, maybe I can show this. So as you kind of come in through the shower, yep. there's the frosted glass. And then lo and behold, you're into the shower unit itself. So that's the bathroom on this level. Let's go see the rest of the bedrooms on this level. There we go. So here we go. Let me kind of slowly pan around here. Here's the bedroom on this level. Nice big picture so carrying on that kind of big picture window. Um, overlooking the uh, the backyard and we've kind of high position got a got lots of closet space in here there's this uh, one under the eaves there there's some closet space under there there's also some closet space here if i kind of pan back you can see um i just came through that doorway then from where the bathroom is and so there you've got that closet on that side shelf space there and then another closet the other side so Lots of closet space in this bedroom. Um, this leads directly off to the um, off the family room. There we yeah, go. Turn, so that's this. Turn around and show where the family room is. Sure. From yep. there. So, so you've oops, got two me. doors into this bedroom. <clears throat> right. So there's one of the doors that leads you into the family room, and then on this side, that door leads you into the family room. Also gives you to access the to the bathroom. Yeah. Exactly. So you, two ways into into this room there you go all and right so have, that's the we have five yeah. minutes marcus to um Oop. to get outside run, run, and run. Uh, show the deck and the um the garage okay. all right down not that i'm hurrying you or anything there you are i know i got that no because i need to hurry <laughs> i need to hurry i got it i got it i got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> so back through the living room and then back into that dining room and now here we go we'll head outside into the sunshine hopefully i'm gonna lock myself out here's the deck area 
Let me just kind of pan around here. That's the deck area. And that also gives you access to the, uh, the rear yard, as you can see there. That's the rear yard. Okay, there we go. Goes all the way down. You can see the fence at the bottom of the uh, bottom there. So a large yard in the in the back. All right. So let's head down to what's underneath the deck, which is the is the garage area. The big two car garage, and okay. uh, this is where um, the furnace and the utilities and everything like that is located. And the garage door. Here we go. I'm trying to open the garage door here a moment, if you excuse me. Well, oh, for some reason it won't open down here, but there we go. Oh, with the code I gave you. With the code you gave me. Oh, no, no, it does. There we go. Okay. <laughs> maybe I can't. Maybe, maybe my, there we go. Fat fingers. All right. Yeah, fat fingers or something. I don't know what I have. Okay, so here's the um, garage area. We kind of take a step back, show you the, the size of it. First of all, there you can see a large garage. There we are. We show you both sides of it. So two car garage here. As Danny said, we've also got some of the utilities here. Give you a sense, there's the electrical panel over there um, and then hot water there. And I'm guessing in this closet here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I will open it up anyway. Um, hard to see. That's the uh, the utilities as well. So there's the there's the the furnace. It is there. Um, a little bit hard to see. I can't see any light in there. Otherwise, I would turn it on for you. But that's where the the furnace is. Actually, just in this room off the garage. And then the other side of that door, there's the hot water system. Close that back up. And there you go. So there is my tour of two great rock road over to you danny <laughs> lovely well thank you uh thank you so much um marcus for showing us that home and uh, look as we mentioned before it's very very easy to see um to make a, a private showing of and to see it for yourself um especially in this time of coronavirus with it being uh, virtually vacant very very safe and uh, if you've got any questions, then reach out to anyone in our team. I am the listing agent, but anyone else in the team can work with you as a buyer's agent. And uh, thank you so much. Um, look forward to uh, seeing you all sometime and I uh, hope you're all staying safe. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Bye.